everyone, this is Garrett, and this is Skyblazer, because I feel like playing it, and that is my only reason why I'm playing this game. Because I like this game, and I felt like playing it as I've... I'm good with this commentary thing. Anyway, story time. I am Raglan, Lord of Darkness, King of Destruction. Ashtara, Lord of War, summon your warlords, conquer the overworld, restore my glory. That is the entire story. And as such, we shall now start the game and play Skyblazer. Now, Skyblazer is a little 2D, platformy, punchy punchy adventure. Well, I don't know. Just just think of a genre and it'll probably be in there. It's probably a horror game as well, secretly. Anyway, you have mostly melee attacks. You have punchy punch punch, and your kick does a little bit more damage. As such, you'll pretty much just see me do jump and kick because it just works a lot better. You basically only have one attack move as well. You have X, but that does this, which is magic which uses up your bar at the top right, as you can see. And yeah, this is pretty much one of my favorite games, actually. One of those games that I just keep on playing. I mostly just use it for testing recording programs, which is what I'm using it for right now as well, actually. I'm using it to test a program called Bandicam. And I kind of wish I didn't just get all my health back. There's a whole bunch of power-ups in this game, like a green potion restores your health, like you have a small one over there and a big one over there. And you'll have red potions as well. The diamonds, if you get a hundred of them, you get an extra li life. But my lives are double question marks because this is the tutorial level. And I'm just going to move forward because I feel like it. Young sorceress, descendant of the mystic pantheon, you will soon be a faithful servant of my master. And you cannot do anything here, which is a little bit silly, but there you go. I like dying. And this young cur was hardly worth my effort. And he flies off with the princess, because I think you need to save a princess in this game or something. That's It's a Nintendo game, so that's the story. Although this game is made by Sony, of all people, so that's kind of interesting. Super Nintendo game made by Sony. There you go. Rouse yourself, whelp! There are greater problems than your pity pains! M must stop Ashura. He has captured the young sorceress, Ariana. Okay, it's a sorceress, whatever. You've not the power to save her! Why, you barely survived a single battle! Do you not know who I am? I am known as Sky. You are of the blood of the sorcerer Skylord. Hmm. Well, you may have a hope of victory after all. I will humble him, as he as did my ancestor before me. At the cost of his life, you lack his skill and power. He was a weapon forged in the fires of battle. I will not fall. Ashura must be stopped. Then look to the pattern, young one, and remember, because this game has a password system, and the password is in the background right now. Will this mystic pattern help preserve my quest? Yup, of course, Welp. Why do you dally here? Go! Consider me gone. I hope your breast carries a stout heart, Welp. It's important that you have a very epic storyline in this very small platform game. Because this game is only like 40 minutes long if you play at a reasonable speed. And after selecting the map the level on the little map selection screen thing, you can see we have three lives at the top right of the screen. And you can jump in these trees, which is pretty cool. And basically just keep on moving forward for now. This is not a very difficult level at all. If you lose health, you can pretty much just get any of the health power-ups. And if you kill a lot of bunch of enemies, they generally drop health power-ups as well. But, yeah, it's not really too much of a hassle. And there's a one-up over here. And jump! Which should land us in a tree from where we can jump! And jump some more. Which should send us to the end of the level. There's a lot of little levels in this game. And uh, the, when you go over a level you haven't gone yet on the world map, it immediately starts it. You just don't have a choice to go into this level. So there you go. Keep that in mind. And you don't restore your health and um, mana between levels either. So that's something you definitely need to be careful about. There are some exceptions to this rule. Like when you defeat a boss, it will actually replenish your health and, um, and your mana. But in normal small levels, you won't. But... Then again, most levels have a boss, so you generally get refilled, but yeah, there you go. So these guys die in two hits, which is kind of rude. And once again, pretty much exclusively using that kick move because it is incredibly powerful. It, it uh, does about the damage of two normal hits, I think, so there you go. Uh, anyway, I'm going to climb up here and duck, and you can move around while ducking. And you can go to this little passage here, which skips most of the level, which I'm doing because I'm extraordinarily lazy today. And these guys you can only hit with magic, which I don't really feel like using against these guys because I kind of want to have full mana for the next boss, which is coming up the moment we go through this door. Now, pretty much he attacks and then he moves around, and you can only attack him when he's moving around. So right now I can't do anything. And you can actually destroy his projectiles, which is pretty cool as well. 
And I kind of messed that up. And let's see if I can do that again. And I can mess it up again, at least. <laughs> Going pretty well. The timing um, is a bit iffy here. But you can pretty much just get him stuck in the corner while continuously using your magic. But I think the magic needs to be out of the screen before you can use it again. And yes, indeed, that is the case, which is why this isn't working very well. But that's okay, because I think he should be dead now. And he is indeed exploding. One health left, which is kind of bad, but... Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there are a lot of extra lives in this game. It is kind of insane how much extra lives you get in this game after a while. But at this point, we only have four. And even if you get a game over, I think you just start off where you died. So it doesn't really matter that much. But, you know. So this, again, this level is basically why the game is called Skyblazer. And there's only, I think, like two levels that are like this in the game. But uh, it's an auto-scroller, but you get to fly around, and if you hold jump, you go up, and then when you let go of it, you go down. And when you attack, you make you basically you shoot fireballs. And these fireballs are stronger than your normal attack, and I don't know why you can't use them normally. You can only use them in these stages for some reason, which is kind of iffy, but there you go. I guess the game would be ridiculously easy if you could use this attack everywhere. Because you, well... The fireball basically kills everyone in one hit, so <laughs> it would be a little, well, a little bit ridiculous if you could use it through the entire game. But even without this attack, the game is definitely pretty doable. It is not a very long game, as I've mentioned before, and most of the game is not too hard. There are some tricky parts in the game, but if you know what you're doing, it is not too hard at all. Um, there's basically one level in this game, which could definitely be a pain if you don't know what you're doing. Screen briefly flashed there, which I don't know if you saw it in the video, but that was a bit strange. I blame emulators because I'm secretly playing this on an emulator, oh my god. And, eh, whatever. Let us just go through this level. I think we're in pretty much nearing the end at this point, so basically touching the wall on the right here. And make it through. Now, when we finished the last level, it said we gained Comet Flash, and that's basically a different type of magic we can use now. Uh, you can switch between your magic with, with I, I think, L and R. Yeah, L and R. And as you can see with the little cross symbol in your mana, that this this spell costs two mana, this one costs one. So definitely something to be careful about. But again, you get a lot of free mana in this game. And health and everything else. And this is basically what the attack does. It uh, definitely deals a lot of damage as well. And for most enemies, you can't take damage while you're using that spell. So it is pretty convenient. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you leave an area and come back, all the power-ups respawn. So if I went out of outside here and went inside again, you go inside by pressing up, you can pretty much just grab the mana again. And it's really not necessary, but it is kind of convenient at times. Now, pretty much just going to jump, 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 and make our way all the way to the top of the castle. You can go inside these doors without actually being on top of the platform which is kind of nice so the moment you're close enough to the door you can pre pretty much just press up and you will go through the door which is kind of neat and make your way up i like games where you can do wall jumping like this you can actually climb up and down while on top of the wall as well but i prefer jumping because it's just a little bit quicker and yeah it, i just really like this mechanic i definitely enjoy it now this part i would recommend just using common flash to skip through the entire thing because those dragons are incredibly annoying and again if you run out of mana here for, for some reason you can just get out of here and go back and you can get that mana power up again which is kind of nice so you never really run out of mana anyway let's go inside this door and see what's inside here i don't actually know what's inside here because i don't usually go inside this door i just roundly felt like it really also, those guys, their lightning attacks deal an incredible amount of that. I think they deal like three or four, maybe even five hearts of damage. So try not to get hit by that. Now, what you basically need to do is jump on top of this little thing, which will make it turn blue. And then these platforms start appearing. And this is kind of like your Mega Man type style jumpy jumpy puzzle. And now we actually have to wait for this stupid thing to come back here. Make sure you don't jump into spikes because spikes are not very nice. They don't deal that much damage, but it is kind of annoying because you just fall over and... There's a reasonable chance you'll just fall off the platform you have to go all the way up again, and that's kind of annoying. Um, I kind of tempted to just use Common Flash here, but oh well, I got through it anyway, and those guys <laughs> drop so much health sometimes, it's ridiculous. Again, not the hardest game, I just felt like playing this game because I enjoy it quite a lot. And randomly felt like testing Bandicam. Now this boss is very exciting, he rolls around and then you hit him. And then he rolls around again, and then he gets bigger. Oh, so it definitely gets a lot harder. <laughs> and the moment I say that I get hit, which is uh, classic. So pretty much, it doesn't really matter which attack you use. I think your punch actually deals the same amount of damage to this guy. You can fly through him with Comet Flash, which is definitely nice because 
makes it a little bit easier. I think there is one. At this point, I might be able to just stand here and duck, and he won't hit me. Okay. And from that point on, it just kind of gets hitty-hitty, and I think we only need to hit him one more time, and that should be the end of him. And I'm just going to do it flashy style. Flash! I've, okay. Apparently, I need to hit him one more time, which is kind of bad. Okay, didn't die. Awesome. Ugh, okay. I should definitely be better at counting, because otherwise I'm going to end up getting killed for no real reason. Because if we die, we have to start the battle from the start again. That's really annoying. Anyway, after beating this boss, we get heal, which is definitely good. It only costs two mana, and it heals quite a lot of your health. I think like four hearts or something, so that's definitely good. I'm going to try not to use it too much, because... Well, I'm just going to try not to get hit, really. That's pretty much my idea. Pretty good, Skywellop. I am much better than pretty good, old man. It is the blood of heroes flo flowing in your veins that has to carry you this far. More battles await you. I am ready to fulfill my destiny. Not so fast. If you journey to the Eastern Plains, then there is no retreat and no return from there for no real explicable reason. Are you prepared? Yup. And this is where we get ridiculous live amounts, because this is basically a little bonus game with um, all these gems are worth 10. And you get a, well, with, as I said, with 100 gems, you get an extra life. And as you can see, there's kind of a lot. And um, this definitely isn't very hard either. I'm just playing with one hand right now. I could use my other hand for swimming, but I'm not in the pool. So that's kind of a shame. But there you go. Pretty much, I'm just going to collect all these gems. After a while, there's going to be some obstacles, and it doesn't matter if you hit them or not, because if you hit them, you'll just fall down and you'll end the bonus game immediately. And if you don't, you'll... well, you'll just keep on flying a little bit further and you can get a few more gems. I think this is the part where there's going to be obstacles, like these with little spike ball things. I don't know why you keep spike balls in the air, but I don't really know why you keep diamonds in the air either, or whatever these gems may be that give you extra life. I'm going to call them life gems. Sounds like a very uh, Nintendo-esque name, life gems. Yes. And after that, we just serve you. I see that you avoided <laughs> getting lost in flight, eh? The thing is, he says that even when you do get hit, so that's a little bit strange. It is good you are here. Greater struggles await. You must first master the four minor powers to prepare for the ultimate power, the Fiery Phoenix. I must gain that power. I will magically increase your endurance, as, and basically you get one extra health, which is kind of nice. Oh, Mystic Force. Or, and if you cl click on Show Mystic Pattern, it'll show you the... Um, password again. So if you want to go to this area in the game, you basically need to use that password. And I think if you click password, he just pretty much says the exact same thing. And then I accidentally clicked on the wrong button again. Good for me. Good, you are ready. No hesitation then. Be gone. Indeed. And as such, we will go to the level that's closest to us because it's also pretty much the one that is easiest and I... Well, it's fun. And I like the power you get after beating this level. Because you do need to get the four powers of mystical awesomeness. Also, the music in this level is really nice. I love this music. And we are in the snow level, as you have probably noticed. Definitely love this level. It's very, um, it's very nice. I really like the music. I've said this before, but I really do like the music. And with those slight little platforms thingies, you can ride it and whoosh, jump to the other side. I'm not going to go to the right here because it's, uh, I think it just leaves in spikes, which is kind of bad. Spikes are not very nice at all. Yeah, nearly landed spikes. These are not Mega Man spikes, by the way, so if you hit them, you'll just take, like, one damage rather than instantly dying, which is kind of nice. And I think we can jump up there for some extra things, but I think it's just, like, gems or something. Not really worthwhile, in my humble opinion. Now, if you jump down here and go to the right, you can actually get an extra life. Not gonna do that, because you have to fight those wolves otherwise, pretty much, and those are kind of annoying, and I don't really feel like it. You get so many lives anyway! I'm at 18 lives at this point, and I'm not even... I'm kind of halfway point, I guess, at this point. Would it be called a halfway point? I'm not sure how long I've been playing, really. I'm at a certain point in the game, and it is still a fair a bit of time before I get to the end, but I definitely have enough lives to make it. Let's just keep it at that. Uh, don't run the spikes. There's a lot of momentum in this game as well. Like, if you um, land, it's not just... Well, there is ice here, so that definitely makes a difference. But when you are walking forward, you you have a little bit of momentum before you actually stop moving entirely. And you can actually... You can actually stop that momentum entirely by just ducking. And you'll just uh, stand still immediately, I think, even on the ice. Nearly messed that up. Definitely don't want to mess that up. Although now, I kind of wish I had maximum mana for this boss, because this boss is stupid. This is probably my least favorite boss in the game, only because it's incredibly boring. 
because you can only hit it once every time um, before it starts spinning around again. Like, you, you just can't deal any damage. Like, if I try to hit it right now, it just wouldn't do anything. And if you hit him with four of the common flash, it'll just be dead. And you do need to hit all three parts with, like, both eyes and the little thing in the middle. And with four Comet Flashes, he dies immediately. And with three, you need to kick him twice, which is kind of annoying, but there you go. Not a hard boss at all, but you can get squashed by him spinning around, and that will kill you instantly, which is kind of annoying. And we get Starfire, which is a... Well, it's decent. It's not great. There is a definitely a better power, which we'll get later. But first, we can basically choose between going up there and going down here. And I'm going to choose to go down here because there's actually a different route of getting to that water palace over there, which I'm going to be taking because it shows up the entire game rather than just a fraction of it. Now, this part is kind of fun. I tend to just skip it, and I probably will as well this time because you can just comment flash to the end. And those guys are annoying because they hit you. And I'm just going to use comment flash because I've gone really lazy. But with four common flashes, you can pretty much just fly all the way to the other side. I'm going to try to do this normally for a change. They always shoot to the left first and then to the, to the right. So it's probably smarter to actually just wait. But I like not waiting because I am a master at everything. And then I'm just going to use those because it's a lot faster. Yeah, a little bit of a middle level there. Kind of nice, but not really important. And the gateway of eternal storms. Is a very important gateway. I don't remember. Oh, this level. This level is actually really annoying. <laughs> Just gonna use a heal here and punch these things to make that guy stop spinning around like a maniac. Even though it's really fun to watch. And these guys are also kind of annoying because if you kill them, they'd actually drop their head and that, that can still damage you. Which is a bit of a bother because it doesn't really deal that much damage. Because But if you keep forgetting it, like I generally do then you will probably actually lose a fair amount of life during this level, which is kind of bad. And kind of want to be careful here. I'm not sure if Comet Flash kills these guys, so eh, not really going to risk that right now. You can actually jump on top of this bot from here, like on top of the uh, blue glowy stones. And you can then pretty much skip past all the enemies, but you need to do a pretty neat jump before you can... Oh, are you serious? You need to do a pretty good jump to do that. I'm not sure if you can actually just break these. I don't think you can, but I'm not entirely sure. But it's definitely a lot easier to go past the top, because then you'll just end up here. And that would be kind of nice, but oh well, we managed to get past anyway. Don't kill me. Also, when you fall in the pit, you are also just dead immediately, so try not to let that happen to you. Just gonna wait until he's off screen because enemies don't move when they're off screen either, so that's definitely kind of nice. Uh, all my health, but fortunately, I got a lot of mana power ups there, so I'm not really in too much health troubles because of heal. It is so good. I'm just gonna wait until he's spun all the way around again and move forward. And I think one of them is actually on top of that platform somehow. I don't know how that happened, but 